Off on another adventure, are we? Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Nazi, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hog's Head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Dead end. Must be another way in. Revelio. Here. 
That looks as if it might raise the gate. Rebellion. could do it. This way. I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hallow and the letter inside. 
We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, restrain the face! Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Get this thing back to work now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blast it! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Best thing in the world, finding out big... I hope Matty stays out of trouble. Accio! Revelio. Perhaps I shall scout around the cell cross. Not the safest place to sneak into. Akia! Revelio. They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. Yeah. Someone over there. I'm going to enjoy it. Oh. Good for Revelio. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Alohomora. Revelio. You're going home in a wooden box! Let me open! Oh! Defend oh! Allow me to finish. Jacob! Good for you! Arrest on the left.
Alohomora. Deke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. Wing. It's all right. There we go. <gasps> there you are. Come on. Hello, Mor. Hurry. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run.
It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwind before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Away, Highwing! Away! Highwing, go! I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. 
I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Hobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Revelio. Rebellion. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk.
You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. Confirm! You told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Revelio! Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Couldn't bring up! Oh, was actually the center. I do that. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. You may want to look around. The journal entry, signed by Noctua Gorn. Gaunt! Repairer! Ominous! Your family was here! 
The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. There's more than one gate ahead. Lumos! Then look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Ah, uh, not to said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Leviosa! Lumos. Another gate. Team Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Confringo! Lumos. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Revelio. Lumos. <sighs> That sounded promising. Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's Rebellion. the where Lumos. All I heard was rewards. Keep going.
Another... Not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos! I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop it. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? You know him better than I do. Very well. Wish me luck. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. Whoever you cast it upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The spell won't work unless you mean it. That's true of all Unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. Ready? I'm ready. survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. 
We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. <sighs> I can't believe we're here. Rebellion. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous, about your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. How inconvenient travel was before. Can bring us. Rebellion. Let me know, sir.
Alohomora. Hello, Homura. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Sometime in the fresh air would do one. Rebellion. Well, Lumos. Revelio.
someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Alohomora. Mine now, damn you guys. Revelio. Revelio. Hello, Hamora.
Revelio. I now there, me guys. Revelio. Alohomora. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere. And Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there, and did not recognize, nor trust, anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight, so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle.
What are you up to now? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Lumos. Can bring up Lumos. Hobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Rebellion. Yeah. 